G'day guys, it's me Zinkberg and welcome back to the Craftworks SMP. I am standing on top of a new build which I am not going to show you yet because I need to get an interior done. In order to get the interior done, I need to go and visit Millie's Interior Shop. So let's go and do that straight away. Hello Millie. Do, do hey, Zink, how's it going? Very well, thank you. How are you going? I'm I'm doing fine. I've been apparently sitting here for a long time. I just got an achievement couch potato, so <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Before we um before we discuss anything, there's you need we need to if we're gonna have a meeting, I think you need to wear one of those. A, a squid head. Okay. Yeah, um, it just makes this much easier. Okay. I find business meetings are always better with squid heads on. Is it is it because they're usually too um, uh, dry without um, squid heads? <laughs> I was trying to think of a pun <laughs> and I can't come up with one. <laughs> I, yeah, I can't. I'm I, I'm fresh. Something I'm ink, fresh out. <laughs> legs. Um, Cat something cow, calamari. Rings, no wings, fried. No. Um, mm. I feel a little fried right now. Millie, I'm here because I'm in need of some assistance. Oh, I okay. need, I need an interior. Um, I have built a, a small house. Oh, oh, I was about to say, I'm like, you, you have an interior in your, in your main house, but. Oh, I mean, yes, no, I thought you were referring to me personally, maybe having an interior. I have an interior. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> and no not my main house I'm quite happy with but I I have a new little place out at my uh, where I have my farms and things and I decided oh. that I'd like an interior done out there. Oh well I can definitely help with that zinc. Wonderful. It's a beautiful little white shoebox. And it just needs <laughs> it needs to be made look very pretty a, but a very giant simple. Shoe within it? Um. And that'd be lovely if you could do a big <laughs> shoe. That'd be awesome. Just just a just a modern kind of build and oh my gosh, I just had to see myself with the squid head and <laughs> it looks divine. Okay. <laughs> it's the best thing ever. Um Well, um you can kind of see a lot of the the displays and examples of yes. different things that we do and if you have a shoebox build i imagine it's going to be more of kind of a modern type build so we can definitely do more like quartz and like see how pretty oh, the blackstone yes. is with it and um, white and gray so you want to keep um stick it stick with a very um gray scale. yeah i think i think i've always liked uh, the white, black, and red combination always makes me feel like Ooh, I'm modern. Yeah. It made me feel modern back in the 80s. And <laughs> for some reason, it's still modern 40 years later. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. I mean, mm. this is, yeah, we, we, we kind of build in a yes. modern aesthetic here too. And I still feel like white black mm. and red is definitely yeah. definitely well, it's on night time that, it's so. night time i need to try out the pretty pink well that'd be great that'd be awesome if you could manage that well excellent well we we usually charge a diamond block per hour right. so depending on how big your build is it's probably going to be just a couple diamonds um diamond blocks mm. i was for, i was hoping for, depending on the size i was of hoping it. to pay with bamboo but um bamboo yeah i've got lots of bamboo I also have yeah, diamond blocks. I mean, blocks. we can, we can <laughs> arrange something like that. We, we can arrange... <laughs> it's all right. I have diamond blocks. It's fine. <laughs> we, we can arrange something. We, we will come to an arrangement with something Beautiful. once once the job is yeah, done. Yeah, you just tell me. <laughs> I'll, I will collect Yeah, payment. you tell me. You come and hunt me down and kill me and I'll give you my diamonds. Well, I will let you know when I can get started on it. Beautiful. And uh, we'll, we'll go from there. Thank you very much, Millie. Okay. Right. Toodaloo. <laughs> Bye, Zink. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh my gosh, the squid head. <laughs> but wait, before we get to what Millie did, I need to show you something. So we had an event where I managed to get together a whole heap of the crafters to come and help with the interiors of the town hall. Uh, Millie and Oda here were working on the courtroom. We have a courtroom now. And E was working on a couple of rooms off to the side and doing a beautiful job. 
Emmy was there. She was helping with the prison cell down below. As was Jitterybug. She also did some beautiful work outside for some pathing and some gardens and things. And Captain Wishbone, he was there as well. I even worked. I wasn't just standing around watching. I was uh, placing a block or two on the outside, finishing up the build itself. And Lane and Baby Unicorn worked on a basketball court out the back, which looks fantastic. And all in all, like, it was one of my favourite times I've had on the server so far. Uh, just having everyone together in one place, all working together, sort of adding their own flavour to everything. And that was the, the directive that I had given was to just do what you want to do. So, so I think Millie did this beautiful thing in the middle here. Just put a little cherry blossom tree down as you walk in through the doors. Over on the sides here, we've got... Oh, we've got an ender who's standing a little bit too still. I get the feeling it might be a... It is a statue rod. Good. <laughs> so we have the notary office here uh, and we have the dedicated Institute for Experiments Research Lab, which is um, Emmy's thing for science. And over here we've got uh, a little bit of an art gallery just with a couple of little uh, pictures up and, and you know those usual signs that you get when, you, <laughs> when you're looking at pictures. Um, I tried to squint at the pictures and give myself funny names for what it was that I that I saw. Um, they were funny to me. <laughs> and so I think this is the finished product for the courthouse. Uh, this this looks great. I love the look of this. Even if they did use chocolate um, for, the <laughs> for the sides of the pews and things like that. Um, yeah, it looks great. Looks really good. And a little spot here for the judge to sit. Well, I guess that's me. I can sit here. Look at that. Look at how authoritative I feel. <laughs> I don't know about this green stripe on my armor trim going across my face. <laughs> I don't know. I don't wear armor very often, so that's all good. Yeah, but this looks great. Uh, off to the sides, we've got um, the little rooms here. So, like, there's the judge's office here. And the judge gets a bathroom, which is very exciting. Yeah, that was E did this. It looks fantastic. And things like a, a plaintiff consultation room over here. Yeah, she did a heap of work on these little rooms around the side. There's a spot for the jury to sit there. The jury deliberation room. This is the one I showed before. I think they look great. Love these rooms. But it wasn't so much about my judgment of what they were doing anyway. It was just about them coming and adding their own piece of their personality uh, to the build. That was the main thing. And this is the finished basketball court out here. This even has the ability to, uh, to play a bit of basketball. I'll show you with a perfect slam dunk first time. And then inside, down here, we have the dungeons. I'm a little bit scared of going down here from the noises that were coming from here earlier. Yeah, so <laughs> there is a guy over the wall there. Uh, there is a drop down. There's a spot of blood on the ground. That's concerning. That looks like a shanking or something. Uh, but yeah, this will be where the prison cells are. Ah, uh, yes. And this over here, it's probably best if we don't talk about what this is going to be. <laughs> but yeah, I was so happy to get everyone together and, and just, or as many of them as that could show up and, and just have a day of some building and things together. And I think things came out really good. Oh, these are these gardens around the side here that uh, Jitterybug did. She did the wall and these gardens here. I think it looks great. The whole thing looks really good. I'm really proud of everyone. Did a great job. Here he is looking so pretty, Zinc. 
Thank you. It's coming along. I look, absolutely look. adore the waterfall. I was yeah. so glad that you got that in. <laughs> yeah. It's so pretty. Yeah, it looks good, doesn't it? Did you see? Yeah. I, I, I feel bad. Oh no, he's an angry <laughs> panda. Did, did he? Did he come after you? He did come after me. I accidentally okay, punched him, and then self defense. Self defense. That. That's, <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Oh, so you've been I'm busy. Still- yeah, I've been. T- I was still doing a little tweaking, but I think I'm pretty much to the final product. I, I might come back later and do more, but you want to go see it? <laughs> I do. I do. There are stairs. Oh, I know. I love these stairs too. This is, <laughs> this is sharp. Take me on the tour of my house. All right. So, <laughs> so I, I changed out your little flower things because I wanted to show you the the. How pretty the coral looks mm. <laughs> and it's on mangrove roots that are waterlogged okay that looks good this is this is your new kitchen and seating area oh wow and i, I put your birdies in cages well oh, thank like, you <laughs> <laughs> on stands so they, Boy, <laughs> you did well that would have been a difficult <laughs> task i was when i was leaving them i was thinking How's Millie going to do anything with them? Like, they're just going to be in the way. <laughs> I thought, well, she can push them around. Yeah, pu- push them up on staircases onto half slabs, and then you put the oh, things Oh, and then you can put the things Push right into place, yeah. <laughs> oh, very cool. Yeah. I'll have to get some name tags and give them names as well. Yeah. They mm. just need some kind of name. I, I was... All right, so then we come up. Mm-hmm. to your bedroom space. Oh. Oh, I like this. <laughs> oh, look at this. What with that red and black and white, like, yeah. like kind of like said something about red, so I kind of added that in there. And... Yeah, nice. Yeah, that looks awesome. Thank you. Nice, nice double bed now. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Plenty of room to spread out. I was going to say, I'll be able to have a friend over. That's exciting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. That looks awesome. I like yeah. it, Millie. Really. I like it a lot. Good. Mm. I do like it. So then up here, I kind of, I, I added some some towels to your pool. So, and, and a nice little uh, drainage mat there for when they get out. So they're not tracking water everywhere. Yeah, um, those grotty friends of mine. We've got some, <laughs> some nice <laughs> patio furniture yeah. that they can sit at. And then a bar so you can... Uh, can you know take it take care of and do some drinking and stuff or yeah, whatever nice and nice fan for when it gets too hot and yeah uh... <laughs> oh this looks awesome I mean, this is fantastic I'm glad you yeah like, it. like this was a this was a fun space to design i don't get to do modern builds very often or, or modern decorations too often so <laughs> no oh that looks so cool i like the towels they're very cool too <laughs> Just a little punch of color, a little tiny bit of punch of movement. And, mm. and it looks, uh, looks really good with this beautiful waterfall you put in. And yeah. The, like you said, almost almost infinity, kind of infinity. I mean, you can yeah, go yeah. infinitely down. That's that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a that's good a, elevator down. <laughs> and, and Yeah, it's sort of like a, a water slide, but not, you know, like it's sort of, yeah. it's sort of catered for two you have things. a deep end. You could, you yeah. could totally, you could totally do like a, a sauna part in that too, if you want. Mm. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, I, I didn't think about that. I need a like a spa or a sauna. I'll do that. Yeah, that's awesome, Millie. That looks so good. And that's what sixteen hours work. So how much do I use? Sixteen billion. That was like you saw what I logged on, and I said something. It was like two hours, like two I said. Hours. So. Alrighty. Um, I where's my? Wait, I'm going to pay you up front. Oh, okay. Because I know you put in so much hard work with this. Ba- bamboo blocks, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's right. Right. You're going to be so rich from the iron farm you got. Right? I know. I'll be able to have buckets. There you go. There's a little bit of a tip in there, too. Um, oh, you've oh done, gosh. You've thing. done no. a wonderful job. No, right. that's the I, price. That's okay. the agreed will, value. I, I'm not going to sniff my nose up at it. It'll, it'll, it went into the uh, getting all the things I needed for it. So. Yeah. No, much, it, much obliged, sir. Mm. I am 
<laughs> happy to work with you here. Yeah, yeah. It looks absolutely awesome. I'm, I'm really happy with it. That's good. good. That's so good. Yeah. So I thought that... Uh, I thought I saw Emmy online and unfortunately I have... I missed her. Um, oh, that's helpful. I thought finally there would be a sign, but I got into someone else's portal out here and now I am so lost. <laughs> Hello, gentlemen, could you please direct me in the way of... Wait, why? No, don't... Why are you angry at me? Don't get angry at me. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, I didn't have any gold on. Oh, no. <laughs> now the panic begins because not only was I lost in regards to uh, where I where I was heading, but I was also I'm also lost as to where I was. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Let's see if we can get our gear back. Oh, finally, that looks like the portal I went through. It is the portal I went through. Oh, <laughs> it's, it's not a lot of fun to be running around trying to look for random portals, particularly when you think there's a time limit involved. Wait, I have gold, I've got gold high pants on. That's good. <laughs> Looks so good with these shoes on too, by the way. Uh, so we definitely went down here because there's no option. Millie has joined in. She She's always very helpful. I'm sure she would happily uh, just give me all of those diamonds back that I think I went... Yes, I went down this way because I saw that sign. And then... Aha! There it is. Oh, look. It looks like everything's there. That's good. Well, crisis averted. That's uh, <laughs> That's a good thing. Why do I always carry so much stuff with me? I feel like I've got too much. Hang on. <laughs> okay, we managed to get all of our stuff back. That's a good thing. <laughs> I realise I've done all that stuff with Millie and I haven't shown you guys around. But before I go up there up behind me and show you what's there, I want to show you what's behind me there down in this cave here. So hang on a sec. Here you go. So I found this little cave when I was out here with Empress Little Bit. It's just under that water. I'll show you on the way back. And I thought I'd fill it with sort of purpley looking stuff. Make it look like a magical cave, you know. So I've got the amethyst and the crying obsidian. I've put lots of spore blossoms. Probably too many. <laughs> it's a bit, uh, bit hard to breathe. I've got the glowberries too. It'll be good once they flower. That, that'll look a bit better. Give it a bit more light. But my favourite bit is the swim because it's... It's all underwater and it's, um, yeah, it's a cool little, cool little area to, to swim through. All right, now I'll give you the grand tour of what I've done over here. <laughs> so... We have, this was originally just, uh, just this, just sugarcane farms. Um, now there's a bit of wheat growing. I've just got some wheat growing because I need some more packed mud. Um, so I've got some carrots here and some sugarcane. So this is for my uh, rockets business that I have. Um, I thought I would just stick a couple of, um, or some stairs up here with some berry bushes either side there. Um, oh, this is where all my pandas are. And for some reason, the pandas spend their whole lives trying to get up on this hill here. And I don't know why. They find every way possible. They climb trees. They they get up on dirt. I don't know why, but they do. <laughs> so <laughs> I've still got this guy. Look, look at this guy here. This one here is a sick panda. Um, I don't know how he got up on the bamboo like that. I think the only thing I can work out is he must have been like standing there when the bamboo grew. Like that is surely the only answer as to how he's got stuck up there. <laughs> 
I've tried to lure him down a couple of times and he doesn't seem that interested. So he's suspended now. He's like a stilt panda. That looks painful with it through your head like that. Anyway, um, so we have, I think there are three different types that are here um, of the pandas. And yeah, I just breed them every now and then because I like the baby ones. So yeah, we've got the stairs going up here, the berry bushes either side. I decided to do a, another pond because you know how much I like ponds. Let's do it with, look with the shaders. Oh, they're so pretty. Um, and then we've got the waterfall as Millie mentioned. Um, so that's really cool. Inside this building here, inside the panda, uh, the panda building, this is just a sugarcane farm, an automatic sugarcane farm goes all the way down there um, and is producing good amounts of sugarcane for me so I've got the paper um, and of course I get the uh, gunpowder from my XP farm so yeah just a basic little thing and I've got a little AFK room there that I built um, to, to go AFK then we've got the stairs going up over here which I think I showed you in the Millie part uh, this is the sort of the back of the um, yeah the back of the, the house here um, and yeah so in here now we've got the kitchen as Millie um, has has done the the design for the interior design there for um, I did move the birds I moved one here and one upstairs um, just a little bit out of the way because part of the whole thing of this design of this building was to have this sort of open area that's an outside bit here where you could look over. Um, I feel like if you had this sort of view, you would um, probably utilize it. So yeah, I'll, I'll probably get rid of that part of that tree there and maybe get rid of that little tree there too. And maybe that one there too. Um, yeah, so there's a lot to do out here, but this is really just an AFK spot for me um, to, to do some stuff. I also moved these cauldrons and the bushes over um, so that there was more space there. Um, there's a little garden over on this side with some bamboo growing inside there. Um, and then coming through the kitchen, you come up outside. I love this staircase. There's lots of space and... It's not just a crammed sort of space. I, I really like that. In here is the bedroom. Um, so we've got the shag pole rug there and a little little chest with a couple of flowers in it there. Um, and the bed. Yeah, again, this much glass, you would utilize this space. Um, and there's my other parrot. They both need names. I don't have names for them. If anyone has good names for two parrots, then feel free to mention it. Uh, then, yeah, another another little stairwell up to the top here, and then up the top here we've got the swimming pool, which also has the waterfall, and then the exterior part. Um, I did get Millie to swap these around so that they're facing out this way. Um, again, just I think you would utilize the view. Uh, what else have we got out here? Oh yes, I built an iron farm. So. Um, yeah, I built built just one of those regular sort of. Um, where is it? Yeah, in in there they the the golems spawn. So just a couple of guys down here and a zombie, and they scare them into creating golems up in that spot there, and then they die against the thing. They do often because this chunk isn't loaded. Oh, there we go. I'm sorry. No, I'm not. I've got iron now, so I'm happy. Um, yeah, and it produces a good little amount of iron that just trickles away there, which is good. Lots of stuff for hoppers and things. Um, yeah, so that's basically it. Um, this this room here, see, they're all trying to escape, but I've built the walls up, so, <laughs> so they can't. Just settle, guys. Uh, in here, so this goes down to where my diamond mines are and yeah that's that's about it that's all that is i wondered what happened to that orange shulker box and there it is so that's good so i think that's everything i think we've pretty well covered a an episode worth this week 
Um, there was some shenanigans trying to get villages moved and things like that, but it was pretty easy. Um, they aren't the two villages that are back in my base. They are just two villages. So, yeah. Um, I think that's everything, we, all we've got time for this week. Uh, thank you so much for joining me, guys. And I hope you have a lovely week. And, yeah, I... Uh, Thank you so much for all your support and everything you guys always give me. I will always appreciate everything you guys do for me. And uh, I will see you next week. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great week. Bye.